You see, society often tells us that a boring life is undesirable, that we should be constantly seeking excitement, adventure, and novelty. But for me, choosing a boring life means prioritizing simplicity, contentment, and ultimately peace of mind. There's this quote by G.K. Chesterton that says, there are no uninteresting things, only uninterested people. I love that so much because it really makes you take a look at your life and think about the things in your daily life and things that you may find boring or mundane, but if you really look at them, are they or are we just choosing to not find them interesting? There's this other quote by Annie Dillard where she says, how we spend our days is of course how we spend our lives. And how true is that? I mean, if you look at your day-to-day -day life, that's how you're spending your life. And if we choose to go through it thinking, oh, my, my days are just so boring and it's the same thing over and over again. Like, how can I enjoy this? It doesn't feel exciting. That's a problem because we're gonna go through our lives thinking that none of it is special. The other way I look at it too is Am I doing the things that I'm doing in my life for me? Or am I doing it because that's what society expects of me? Am I trying to do these exciting things and new things and adventurous things because that's what I'm being told I should be doing? Am I doing this for others? Because truthfully, I don't know about you, but I find a lot of contentment in the simple things. And I don't feel ultimately like I need to be constantly doing more and being more and achieving more. So I want to talk to you about some of the reasons that I choose to live a so-called boring life and why I think it's not really that boring. A big one for me is less stress. Living a simpler life is just less stressful. By minimizing distractions, all of these obligations that don't really align with my values or my priorities, getting rid of all that, I can focus on what really matters to me and what brings more value to my life. And it just helps me find a greater sense of peace. Living a boring life also gives me more time. With fewer commitments and obligations and distractions, I have more time to pursue what I'm actually passionate about. Spending time with loved ones, engaging in activities that actually bring me joy and fulfillment. Another big one is financial freedom. Living simply allows me to save more money, have less debt, and just live within my means. When you give yourself this financial freedom, you're essentially giving yourself the flexibility to make choices that align with your values and not with your financial necessities. By slowing down and simplifying my life, I have been able to cultivate much deeper connections with my loved ones. I've noticed this specifically with my children, that my interactions with them are so much more meaningful. Our conversations are deeper. I have these experiences together that are meaningful and purposeful and not just superficial. What'd you make? Spoonie? Spoonie? Mm. It looks really cool. Can you show me what you did? Uh, I did a mouth and two eyeballs and hair and blue and blue one and a pink one and that's all. I love Spoonie. Honestly, choosing a boring life allows me to be more present, more mindful in everyday life. I can actually savor like the simple pleasures in life. And I've really learned to appreciate the beauty of the here and now. So while from the outside looking in to some, my life might seem boring, to me, it's anything but that. It's filled with meaning, it's filled with purpose, and it's filled with so much contentment. It's this quiet kind of joy that comes from living authentically and intentionally. If this message resonated with you at all, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I appreciate you spending this time with me and being here today. I will see you in my next video.